country in the world. Mm -hmm. You can put whatever your mind to it. If you don't make it here, then I feel sorry for you, really. You know what I mean? So you guys should be happy. I don't want to ever hear somebody complain about living in America because you haven't stepped outside of here. The people who step outside of here, who know, who've been in another country, when you come back, you're like, oh my God. Yeah. You know what an opportunity I've been given. Mm -hmm. You know, they say that wealth skips a generation. You know what I mean by that? When I came to this country, I was 11 years old. I didn't speak any English. I worked in the hood. You know, we do what Middle Eastern people do, own convenience stores. <laughs> you know, and you know, I didn't know what, you know, I didn't know what it was. I was like, I came to an area where there was black people, there was white people, and there was the extraterrestrial meat. <laughs> so I had to really understand the culture. I had to really pretty much start fighting and start learning how to appreciate things. So, you know, f fast forward now, my cousin is someone who is born here, first generation American, and now he wants to be successful, but he can't get up in the morning. Oh, I know. I want to. I want to be successful like Sam. Get in the gym at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's too early. I want to be successful like you, Sam. Read this book. Oh, it's too hard. Oh, I want to be successful like Sam. Oh, yeah, I want to drive your car, but yet I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go look for a job. <coughs> you know, and that's what we do in this society because we think that we're entitled. You know, you gotta first of all, you know, uh, look at yourself and say nobody's entitled to anything. Okay, that's a myth. You know, you are, you, you know, you, whatever value you put in the world is that's what you're going to get out of it, okay? And you, this is the opportunity for you to do it. So when, I want you to tie back that to your fitness, okay? Everybody wants to come in and everybody wants to be in shape. Everybody wants to, you know, get up and be healthy. What happens when the alarm clock rings and go to the gym? What happens? You have every excuse in the world why you can't make it to the gym, all right? So it's the same thing. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go back. You know, I'm not going to, you know, um, I have a lot of content to share with you and how you can be successful in your health and fitness. Because that's what my passion is, that's what I would do. And if I was a billionaire, I would still do the same thing because I believe in the message. Now, it's easy to get in shape. It's really easy to get in shape. You know, who told you it's hard to get in shape? But there's a problem. It's easy not to get in shape. It's easier not to get in shape, okay? We as humans, especially in this society, we want comfort. We want to lay in bed, wash Oprah, and get in shape. Okay, it ain't gonna happen. Okay, now let me ask you something really quick. When do you want to get in shape? Where does it start? What do you want to do anything in life? Where does it start? In your head. Come on, yeah, get yeah, get into it with me. Where does it start? Start with me. All right. Where does it start with you? Does it start by exercising? Where does it start? If you want to get in shape? Yeah. In your head. And it starts with your mind, right? Does it start with your mind? Does everything start with your mind? Yeah. You gotta make a decision that you're gonna make something happen. Right? And if you don't make that decision, you don't have the right mindset, yeah, you're gonna go to the gym for a week or two, then after that you're gonna quit. Okay? Because it starts with a mindset and something that you gotta do to change. And guess what? Change is uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to change. Yet everybody was like, oh yeah, I wanna change. I'm like, no, you don't. What's the definition of insanity? Anyone knows? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting expect different results. So you're telling me that you want to change, but yet you're not willing to give up some things. If something got to change, then something needs to be changed, right? Are we, do we agree on that? Come on now, get yes. 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 up now. I'm not going to sit down here and just, here and just preach. All right, I know we got some carbs and stuff like that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Okay. So, the problem I see with getting in shape is like the problem I see that with anything in life. Okay, let me give you an example. It's a very well, since we're in the finance business here, right? we're talking about finances, so let's talk about something. It's a well-known fact that when someone wins the lottery, they end up wedding it. Broke. Broke, right? And it's a very well-known fact, somebody who worked really hard and earned millions of dollars and loses it, and then they can gain it what? So what do you think the difference is? Because they went through the process. They learned, went through the process of getting there. And once you go through the process of getting there, you can always know what to do and get it back. But if you never went through the process, you go you get, want to get in the rich, get rich quick schemes, you want to go get on that HCG diet, you want to go on this cabbage patch soup diet, and lose all that weight and gain it all back, and lose all that money and gain all that money back, that's what's going to happen. Until you, until you learn to fall in love with the process, then nothing's gonna happen, right? 
You gotta fall in love when it comes to fitness. You gotta fall in love with moving more and eating better consistently. Since we're talking about finances, I mean, I've been thinking about how I can tie this into the finance industry. Okay? Now, how many people have said, okay, I'm gonna start saving money? We all say that, right? Yeah. But the problem with saving like, money is this. You don't save money for a long time, and then all of a sudden, you want to, you know, now you want to go this ridiculous amount of savings all of a sudden every month. Oh, I haven't saved a penny for the last 10 years, but now I'm going to spend five grand a month. And then you do it for a month or two, and then now you can't. Okay? The same thing goes with fitness. You haven't done nothing. You haven't exercised. You haven't eaten married. You've been eating McRib sandwiches. <laughs> You know, you've been eating bacon, sausage, and everything else around. I know I'm calling you out. I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing on your plate. I'm calling you out. Okay? And then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, you want to go to the gym, you want to run 10 miles, and then you want to eat lettuce. It doesn't work that way. It don't work that way. You got to do one thing at a time. Let me ask, what does FDA stand for? Food and Drug. Okay? Food and Drug Administration. Not Drug and Food Administration. Right? Which, which one comes first? Right. So food is the most important thing that you can put in your mouth for your drugs. Now people don't realize that food has a more compound effect than any drugs can do over time. So, while some of y'all hiding your plate. Okay. So, so we, um, we talked about a lot of winners. Let me ask you guys, you know, let's, let's take it a little bit deeper. Let's really, really get a little bit deeper right now. What happens when you go to a zoo? You look at elephants and tigers and, you know, the wild animals. We put them in the zoo. We paint trees. We make it look like they're living still in the jungle. But they know the difference, do they? You know, it's a very well-known fact that they're depressed. Because a tiger is not supposed to just lay there and watch it. He's depressed because he's just laying there. And he just made her, uh, they're looking, cute people. <laughs> they're depressed. Now, let me ask you another question. I want you, I want you to be with me here now. Listen to me. Who do we know has created a zoo for itself and locked themselves in it? You're with me? Did I lose you? Who, who is it? Human. There you go. So, you know, you know our smarts are being smart. We, we smart, right? Because we beat dinosaurs and we beat all those bigger animals. We sure can't whoop them, but we beat them. <laughs> we beat them because we're smart. But our smarts are now coming and working against us. Because we created what? The machines, the cars, the planes, and everything else like that. So now we want to go across the street. Oh, I don't feel like walking. And we get in my car and go across the street. You know, the other day I was on in New York catching a flight back to LA. This lady asked if there was Wi-Fi on the plane. And the, 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 the flight attendant said no. And she literally had a fit. Because there was no Wi-Fi on the plane. I'm like, really? Like back in the day, it would have took you 20 years to get to LA. You know? You see all those movies back in the day with purges, you know, fighting with the Greeks, and they go meet 3,000 miles in between and all that. I'm like, that's too much energy. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to go across the street to fight with somebody. You know, you guys had some serious issues back then. Right? So, so next time, you know, you know, back in the day, again, we created a zoo for ourselves and locked ourselves in it. Back in the day, when you wanted to eat, what did you have to do? Kill it. Hunt it, kill it. And what killing it means, hunt it, kill it, means what? What did you have to do to hunt it and kill it? You don't, you, you, you won't stand here for something to come up to you. Oh, there it is. You, you gotta expand it, you gotta move, right? So back in the day, exercise was built into your food. Now, food comes to you. We call it dominoes. 30 minutes. We live in a now society. Everybody wants things now, okay? Here's some examples. You know, the iPhone. I wanna get a hold of you now. You don't answer my email? I'm going to text you, I'm going to Facebook you, I'm going to Twitter you, everything. I'm a, there's a million different ways to get a hold of you. Now I'm so frustrated. I'm going to tell them, tell me the mode of communication you want to get a hold of me. Because I'm not going to answer the 50 different sources away, right? What else? Make money. Oh, you know, 
I'll make $50 investment and now you're gonna be a millionaire by tomorrow. Get rich quick schemes, okay? There's a bunch of them out there. Lose weight, 90 pounds in 90 days. You know who used to go this. I was, I was giving another talk at Brighton Hospital last year and I remember sitting, you know, giving the lecture, looking at the back and a couple of people really overweight, really out of shape, and they're drinking Frappuccinos. Now, if you don't know anything about Frappuccinos, Frappuccino has about 1,200 calories, okay? So, after a little bit, I was a little bit distraught, but it wasn't my thing to call anyone out. So I talked to the director, I'm like, how come these guys in the back are drinking Frappuccinos? And they, they need to like, be drinking like water, you know? And here's the answer they gave me. They're borderline to qualify for the gastric bypass. They need to gain weight, two more pounds, so they can qualify for the gastric bypass. Oh so they rather get cut than to cut back. That's a good society, the kind of society we live in. Okay? So, all right. Let me tell you what's wrong with the society today and how we can prevent that. Let me give, get, get a little bit into nutrition and give you a little bit of background on what needs to happen, and a little bit about physiology of what happens to your body every day, okay? So, you have to realize one thing. Your body is not designed to wake up by an alarm clock. Are you with me? Okay, 2,000 years ago, when an alarm sounded, what did that mean? There's no alarm clock 2,000 years ago, but all of a sudden you woke up all of a sudden because you heard something, the sample finger was about to kill you. There was a tiger, there was, there was a dinosaur, there was something that all of a sudden killed you, what was, was, was threatening your life, something threatening you. So when something all of a sudden wakes you up, you jump out of the bed, and automatically you have what's called a fight or flight response. You heard of that? Fight or flight response releases hormones called norepinephrine and epinephrine. So which means that it rushes blood to your muscles, you're worried, you're running around, and, and now you were thinking about, okay, I gotta go, I gotta do this, I gotta put the, put the kids out to school, I gotta go to work, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And now, when all the blood goes to your muscles and your extremities, no blood goes to your stomach, you don't feel hunger, and you keep moving. That's why a lot of people don't feel hungry in the morning, because they're worried. When you're worried, you can't eat. Because the norepinephrine and epinephrine response. To compound that, so then we add more uppers to the, to the equation. Now we have a pot of coffee. Okay? Now what does the coffee do? Coffee is a what? Is it a stimulant or a depressant? Stimulant. Okay? So anything that stimulates your body, I know a couple of you guys have like, mm -hmm. You know, anything that stimulates your body is an appetite suppressant. I've never met a, oh boy, this might, might be inappropriate, but I've never met a fat cracker. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anything that stimulates, you know, you know your nervous system is going to stimulate your, you know, stimulate that. So you won't be able to eat. But the problem is, remember, you haven't ate for eight to ten hours you're sleeping. Then you get up, you go most of the day without, without eating. And then you come home, you relax, and all of a sudden what happens? You get hungry, right? You get hungry, you eat the whole refrigerator, and you go to bed. And then you go, oh, well, I really only ate one meal. You know, I don't know why I'm gaining all this weight, right? The problem is that you want to make sure that you eat your meals in, throughout the day. At any given time, if you eat too much, your body's gonna use whatever it can at that moment and it's gonna store the rest. Make sense? So one of the most important things that I can teach you is to eat small, frequent meals. The reason you wanna eat small, frequent meals is that you don't wanna give your body a chance to store them. Store them. If you go eight to 10 hours without eating between meals, your body is storing it. So it's better to eat every two and a half, three hours, keep your blood sugar level steady, Keep your energy level steady and keep your hunger in control. The worst thing you can do in the process of trying to lose body fat, gain muscle tone, and be healthy is to go hungry. Why? Come on. Exactly. You overeat. When you're hungry, you're vulnerable. 
You're hungry in the office, somebody brings in donuts, guess what? You're gonna bring donuts. But if you're full with good food, you're not gonna eat. And you're gonna be able to do that, right? Is, is, is that like, oh man, I'm not even gonna go there. You guys are too mature, you know, and, and I'm too immature for this. I'm, 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 I'm not even gonna go there. I gotta, let me step back, let me step back. Um, okay. I'm gonna kind of finish it up with this really quick. Um, I want you to think about it. You know, what are some things that, you know, what are some things that money can buy? Can? Can. Can. Material things. Yeah. Cars, yeah. Material houses. things, cows, hard houses, yeah. right? But money can pretty much buy a, pretty much everything except a few things, right? Yeah. Pretty much you can, you know, you can have money, you know. You know, if somebody says money isn't everything, you know, I say you're right, but let me find out. <laughs> you know, because we all want money. But there's a few things that money can't buy you. Okay? Well, we know one of them is love. Yeah. Happiness. Help. What else you can't buy? You? Help. Help. There you go. You know? If money could buy you health and fitness, then you're gonna have me work out for you. <laughs> and then you get in shape. Oprah could do it. And I'm sure you know probably got more money than all of us. Bill Gates couldn't do it. So something's gotta be done the old fashioned way. And it starts with you, and it's more about just getting in shape for vanity. Especially when we're talking about women. We're talking about over time, what's gonna happen is after age of 38, it's a known fact that women and to some degree men will start losing one pound of muscle tone per year. Okay? Now people are like, well, what does that mean? Well, we all know that muscle burns fat, right? You heard that, right? Why does muscle burn fat? Your muscle burns fat, but nobody told you why the muscle burns fat. Why does muscle burn fat? I'm going to teach you why muscle burns fat. Let me ask you another question. Who has ever had fat cramps here? All of a sudden you cramp up. Oh my God, I have a fat cramp. <laughs> Anyone had fat cramps? <laughs> no? Okay, there is no such a thing. Anyone had muscle cramps? Yes. Right? Okay, because muscle is metabolically active. Okay, muscle contracts. Muscle expands energy. Okay, anything that's metabolically active burns calories. One pound of extra muscle tone burns an extra 50 calories per day. So in 10 years, I want you to be with me here. This is math, this is science. In 10 years, from 38 to 48, if you lose on average one pound of muscle tone, which means 50 calories per day extra, that's 10 times 50 gives you how many? What's 10 times 50? Come on, wake up. You guys, are, you guys gotta get your money right. So 500, right? Yes. Okay, so 500. So what is 500 times seven? 3,500, guess what does that mean? 500 times 30, 500 times seven, seven days a week, at 500 calories less than you burn, doing the same thing, that's 3,500 calories, that means you gain one pound of body fat a week. Second important thing, especially for women, is that just like your muscles, they get stronger and better by working out. There's something called the Wolf's Law, which means that your bones also get stronger and um, more sturdy when you, when you apply demand upon it. Why is that important for women? Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, osteopenia. Because as you know, as we know, as women get older, and you guys got 20, 30 years to go to, to get there, but um, as you get older, you start losing bone mass. And you start having osteopenia, you want to have osteoporosis, and you want to prevent that by doing weight-bearing exercises. That means that you got to start applying weight training to your everyday exercise. So I hope I was able to give you some information, something to think about, something a little bit out of the box for you to take home. If you don't learn nothing today, start exercising, start moving on a consistent basis, start eating small frequent meals and I'm going to finish up with this. You got to make it a habit. Who here brushes their teeth every day? You know? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you. You know, okay. I'm just wondering, I want to see hands up. Okay? So, you know, you know, we, take, we brush our teeth every day. 
We take a shower every day. Now, a thousand years ago, 500 years ago, before running water, before toothbrush, okay, we didn't do that every day. You know, I guess we got to the lake, whatever we got to the lake, we took a shower. There was no toothbrush, right? So this is something that we do automatically. It's not a part of your checklist to do. This is what I gotta do. I gotta, I gotta wake up. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Don't forget to take a shower. It's something that you automatically do. You need to make exercise in something that you automatically do. It's built into your schedule. It's what I call a non-negotiable. And this is the last thing I'm gonna leave you with. Next time you don't exercise, you don't take a shower and brush your teeth for that day. That will stop you to ever think about missing your exercise program. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>